feel like Gloria Gilmer whenever I wear this sweater. Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my February wrap up. And since February is a pretty short month, I didn't read as much as I did in January. But I do feel that I did a pretty good job overall. I read six books, only two of them newly read. This month was a major reread month for me. So the first three books were the continuation of the Anna Jean Gable series with the sixth book being Anna Ingleside where she is married it several years after the House of Dreams book where she was just married and it was like the first two years of her marriage and she has five kids in this book now and this one actually delves in a little bit more with the children's perspective and the seventh book which is Rainbow Valley which is more of the kids perspectives and their friends perspective. The last book which is Rilla of Ingleside which is the perspective of the youngest child Rilla who is 16 in this book and this is about how she grows up in a war time. As you all know I love these books all eight of them. I give the whole series five stars and each one of them individually five stars with the very last book my opinion has changed on it when I was younger and I read this one the first time. I didn't really like it because of Rilla, it was very spoiled and vain. But this a good time in reading, I realized how much she grew over time when taking care of a baby and dealing with her two brothers needed more. I just felt like it really was done well by Ellen Montgomery and the way that she grew from what she was, which was basically a child into a grown woman. I thought was brilliantly well done and it was a very beautiful ending to a very beautiful, very wonderful series. The fourth book was Pillars of Earth by Ken Follett. I've done a full review on this so if you haven't already watched the video, I'll put a link down below so you can go and do just that. This book is about Tom who is a carpenter of sorts, architecture I guess. He's a builder basically and he has a dream of building a cathedral. He has a wife and two kids and is also expecting one. Then you have Philip who is a priory of a small monk community and ends up becoming the priory of a bigger, much more messier monk community called Kingsbridge and he decides to build a cathedral and he hires Tom to do it. And you also have Lady Eliana who has a huge secret. I gave this book one star. It was horrible. I didn't even finish it. I got a third way in and I realized that I couldn't get beyond a certain point. There was a, something that I was really upset with that I just couldn't get past. So if you want to know what made me write this, again go check out my full review. The fifth book I read this month is Angels and Demon by Dan Brown. It's the first book in the Robert Langdon series. In this one, we meet Robert Langdon. He's a Harvard symbologist, and he's called to come to the CERN, the science research facility, where one of their employees has been murdered and a symbol has been branded on his chest. When he goes in there and sees what it is, daughter of the man who was murdered. I loved reading this all over again. It's been several years since I read it the first time and reading it again was like reading it for the first time all over and it was wonderful. It was a real run of a ride. I really loved how he handled telling you the historical facts and making it very interesting and keeping it from feeling like a textbook. I just love the mystery and the suspense and the thrill. So this one gets five stars. Then the last book I read this month is Before I Die by Jenny Downham. I rented this from the library and returned it just a couple days ago so I don't have the book with me but I will have a review out that I did earlier when I had the book out Monday so you can look out for that. And I really enjoyed this book a whole freaking lot. It was very emotional and very sad, yet there's this beautiful lesson that we all can learn 
and I think she did it very well. So I give this one five stars. And so as I did last month, I am going to be doing the least favorite and most favorite of the month. And I think we can all know which one was my least favorite, which was Pillars of Earth by Ken Follett. And of course, my most favorite would have to be Before I Die by Jenny Downham. But before I signed off, I would tell you what I am currently reading, which is The Women in White by Wilkie Collins. I am about 25% into the book, and I'm really enjoying the, the writing. The story is really, really well done or, so far. I'm really liking the way it's being handled. I wasn't sure about the way it began on the first page, but then I understood why when I read the introduction. I will be talking more of this when I do a review of this. and you'll see what that one will be all about. Tell me down below what you have read this month and if you read any of the books that I have mentioned here, tell me what you thought of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and a comment. I really like talking to you guys and the thumbs up really does help. If you're new to my channel and you want to see more, don't forget that there's a subscribe button down below.